Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be showing you the choosing of our CNC machine and creating a coordinate system. We'll start by choosing our CNC machine. As you can see over here, there's already a default CNC machine available, and that's the one that's exactly inside our SolidCam settings. But if we want, we can always go in and choose from the list of the CNC machine that we want to work with. And for this case, I'll just use the Hermola as shown over here. Next, we're creating our coordinate system. Now, in this particular part, the way I'd like to have my coordinate system would be at the very top surface of the part itself and located in the middle of the part, in the exact center of the entire part. I'll click on Define, and we have several options to define our home. One of them is called Select Face. Then we have Define. We have select coordinate system normal to current view and by three points we'll start with selected face when choosing selected face all i have to do is click on any one of these surfaces when i click on these surfaces the home position will automatically be located where the z is perpendicular to that particular surface and as far as where on the part on the top of the part itself it will be that depends of what is over here over here right now we have the corner of the model box clicking on this surface will automatically bring it to the corner of that part itself showing you the red as the x direction the green in the y direction and the blue in the Z direction. But as I said, I'd like to have it in the middle of the part. So instead of choosing corner of model box, I can open up this area over here and choose instead top center of model box. Now when I click on the surface, you'll note that the home position is in the middle top of the part itself again with the x y and z direction being perpendicular the z direction being perpendicular to the surface i touched over there now using select faces is probably the most common way of creating your home position now another way to create a home position is by choosing the option define when choosing define what you have to do is click on the point where you want the origin to actually be. Then click the X direction and then the Y direction. It starts off automatically asking you to choose your origin. If we look at the bottom, you can see that it says pick origin point. For argument's sake, let's just click on this point over here. Now, when I do that, it'll automatically pass to X direction. At the bottom also, you can see it says pick X direction point. I'll click on this point over here, giving me the X direction. And you can see now as well that the X direction is marked with a red line. Now it jumps to Y direction. I'll click over here. And the Y direction will be on this level over here. Now the Y direction is always 90 degrees to the X direction. Once I choose my Y direction, my Z direction, it comes automatic. Another way to create your home position is by creating first a coordinate system within SOLIDWORKS and you're able to actually use that coordinate system that you've created in SOLIDWORKS for your coordinate system in SOLIDCAM as well. All I have to do is click on select coordinate system and over here you can see you have the list of 
the coordinate systems that I created in SolidWorks itself. All I have to do at this point is just click to choose that particular coordinate system. And you can see my coordinate system has automatically popped up in this corner, which is the place where I created my SolidWorks coordinate system. In our next window that opens up, we have the following. We have control of our of the height and depth of the part itself. For example, we have our tool start level. The tool start level is the level where the tool offset is actually put into the G-code itself. The clearance level is the level where the tool will go up to when it moves over to a different area over the part itself. This area is where we take into consideration such things as clamps or screws that may be sticking up higher than the part. Part upper level is in accordance to where the coordinate system itself is. If my coordinate system is at the very top of the part, then it is zero. If I'm not sure, I can always click on the button and just click on the top surface itself and you'll see that it will be zero here as well. The part low level is the very bottom of the part. This is given automatically when I chose my coordinate system when on using the select faces, it automatically measured the part. Last, we have our tool Z level. Our tool Z level is meant for when we have a fourth or fifth axis index seal machine, where we wanna have our tool go up to a specific level before it actually makes the turn on the machine itself, protecting the tool from any kind of a crash. At this point, I'll just click on OK, and we have our first position of the part itself. Now, if I want, I can always right click over here. I can add another home position or edit the one I have. I'll just leave it the way it is right now and click on OK. This brings us back now to this window over here. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about our stock and target. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com, and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.